Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another draft challenge. So I had a comment here, and I thought this stat would be very interesting. So we're going to be going after the poise attribute today, and I think that this one will be just very intriguing to see how the team does early in the season, how they do late in the season, because I think poise is a pretty important stat. Like, it's a an attribute that weighs quite a bit. So... That's why I think this one is going to be very interesting to, you know, actually put the team together and see how they play together, how they simulate, stuff like that. So, yeah, let's do this thing, okay? I'm going to randomize the team here as I do. I will be staring at you guys in the meantime. And in between time, boom, we get the St. Louis Blues. They are ripping it up right now. Um... In real life, or at least as of when I'm recording this, they are pretty sure that their last 10 is just something crazy. But uh, let's turn fantasy drafts on. Head coach edit lines. Don't even think about it. Jabroni. I'll turn player morale off, I suppose. CPUs can trade. Okay, leave the salary cap on. So I am going to I'm gonna try to aim for 85. But if we end up having to like go down to 80, because I'm not really sure. Obviously, some stats are um, typically higher or more likely to be higher than other stats where I feel like poise is a pretty particular one that is not genuinely very high. So yeah, I'm going to, or generally, sorry, not genuinely. <laughs> it doesn't even make sense, but yeah. Um, sorry, I'm trying to do stats here and talk and uh, that's working out great for me, as you can tell. I'm going to aim for 85 at the start, and if we find like a really good player that's 80 or whatever, I will settle for that, but I will try my best to get 85 and above for the most part, and I think that's about it. So actually, do let me know. I turned that off by accident. Okay, looks good, and back we go. And someone asked actually during my career simulations if I tweak the, um, what's it called? Simulation scoring. As in, you can set it to like low, medium, or high. No, I leave it on medium. I don't touch any of that stuff. So, here we go. What pick? We 11. There we go. I just had to throw one out quick because I kind of forgot. But we get 29. That is a rough go. Oh, they actually bumped Kyle Connor up to 90 overall. That is well-deserved. That is well-deserved. I'm so happy to see that. Okay. Because, yeah, um, I guess I don't know what video is coming out first, but... Maddie Beneers and Owen Power are now in the game, which is nice. I just got the most recent roster update. I'm assuming Bergeron's going to have a really good poise. Uh, where is it? Where am I looking for here? There it is. 95 poise. 95 from Malkin. 90 from John Carlson. All right. Stamkos has 90. Barkov has 90. Shifley has 90 as well. Okay. So we have a lot of players here with 90. Like, uh, But it just it seems like poise is pretty directly related with the overall of the player. Because I feel like if we go down a lot more here, it's going to start to drop off. But we do have a lot of good poise here. So let's see who I will take as the first pick. I kind of want to take Barkov just because his contract is so good. Shifley's actually isn't bad either. He's 89 overall. He's a playmaker. Uh, Barkov is a two-way forward. Oh, man. This is rough. I do want to take Barkov. I feel like we take him a lot. Do I take Shifley a lot too, though? I don't really know. I might. That one overall. You know what? I feel like I haven't taken Barkov in a long time. That's probably not true whatsoever. But I'm taking him now. All right. So should I take Stone? Or maybe Johnny Goudreau? He would be a good one. 6.7 and be the winger to help out that first line. Zabinijah is only on a 5.3. For some reason, I thought his contract was a lot more than that. Okay. So Stone has 9.5, but he would be real good. John Carlson would be amazing to have on defense. He's got that 90 poise. Crap. These early picks are always the hardest ones, man, I swear. Okay, you know what? I'm going to try to get a really like solid stud defenseman here, so I'm going to take John Carlson. We have back-to-back -back goalie picks here with Markstrom and Price. So is that a sign? Should I take a goaltender? Only if Shesterkin's here. He's not. Okay, well, I'm out. <laughs> Goalies have poise too, right? I believe they do. 85 for Freddy. Robin Leonard has 80. Okay. 90 for Bobrovsky. Look at him go. And it looks like, yeah, they, they don't really have a whole lot of poise going on back here. What's going on, lads? Flower with 90. Okay, so that kind of makes me want to take Bobrovsky with 90. But $10 million. I don't know if I can... <laughs> I don't know if I could do that, mate. All right. Uh, Kemper has 85. His contract is really good. 
And I saw, yeah, Bobrovsky with 90, and then Flower has the other 90. You know what? Let's go with the uh, Minnesota Wild legend, Marcus Andre Fleury. Tarasenko has 85 poise. I really want to take Drew. Like, that 4.1 is so good. And he has abilities, but I mean, well, he is center slash left wing. I could put him on the left wing, you know? So maybe I will do that. Claude Giroux. Yeah, sign him up. There we go. All right, he is going to be our first line left winger now then, I suppose. And now I do need a right winger. I wouldn't say um, like a lot. <laughs> you know, it's not like dramatic. Marcheseau is right-handed and he's left wing slash right wing. So yeah, you could definitely play him on the right side. Giordano is going to have 85 poise. Marcheseau has 85 as well. Okay, I'm going to take Marcheseau. So that's our first line done. So we have the line one done. We have a really solid first defender there. And we have a good goaltender as well. So I'm liking the way this is shaping up so far. Giordano shoots left. Actually, you know what? Let me try something here. Start by potential. Are those guys going to already be gone? Like the the young lads? Let's find out. Tomasino's still here. I, oh, but they're not going to have good poise. Yeah, there's no way. Absolutely no way that they're going to have good poise. And... Let's see, just to, you know, for a curiosity check. Yeah, not going to happen. It doesn't look like uh, Holtz. Let's see what you got. I keep pressing the wrong one. <laughs> He's got 75, and uh, I'm all over the place right now. I guess it kind of makes sense, though, because I feel like poise is sort of something that comes with experience, you know? Like, you get in those situations, and you're just kind of like, yep, I've been here before, and uh, let's, let's get it done. So, it does check out in that regard. Ron, I don't need another left winger, though. That's the thing. He does have 90 poise. He's left wing slash right wing, and he shoots right. So you know what? Absolutely screw it. There you go. Perron, welcome to the team. And what else do we have here? I should probably get a defensive partner for Carlson. Giordano is going to be... Yeah, he shoots left. He has the abilities, though, which is nice. You know what? Screw it. Well, actually... Okay, he does have 85 poise. Right, we already checked that. Yeah, let's go. We're going to have... A fairly old team here, but that is par for the course. As we normally draft players that are not particularly young guns. But like I said, this team is kind of destined to be old because of the the poise stat and how it sort of works. So yeah, um, I definitely did not expect this to be a young team by any standard. We currently have two centers and three left wingers, not a single right winger, but we do have players that can play the right side. Nichuskin, uh, he does have 85 actually, okay, wow, I didn't see that coming. Alright, Valerie Nichushkin, welcome to the squad. I don't know why I always have trouble saying his name, but anyway, uh, should I take a backup goalie soon? It might be getting close to that time. Just trying to look, we still have $32 million left actually, so I don't have to be... Too peculiar just yet. Eric Johnson. He's probably got good poise, no? 85, that's not bad. goligoski has got 85. Martinez has 85. And he shoots left. Kind of want to get a right-handed defenseman. Eric Johnson does, in fact, shoot right. All right, Johnson it is. Welcome to the team. I'm not really sure if handedness actually affects line chemistry or if it affects the simulation whatsoever, but... I'm going to just assume that maybe it does. <laughs> That's why I'm making some of the selections that I am. Um, Evan Rodriguez, 1 million bucks. 80 for poise, though. Don't know if I can do that just yet. Scott Lawton, he's got 80, 80. All right. I do want to try and find 85s, like I said, you know, at least. So we got a couple here in Howla and Lars Eller. So I'm going to take Howla. At, uh, yeah, he's only 30. That's not too bad. 82 overall, 2.3. Seems like a good deal to me. This might make our cap situation a little bit tricky, but I'm going to take Phil the Thrill uh, for the fun of it. He's a solid right-wing sniper who will hopefully be burying some biscuits and giving us some Ws. So we have $17 million of cap space left. We still need four forwards, two defensemen, and a backup goalie. Yikes. So we got to be um, a little cheap here with our, our goaltender pick. Um, 
85. Okay, Holpe and Smith both have 85. Okay, it seems like we've got a bunch of 85s here. So, uh, Holpe's making less. But Mike Smith does have two abilities. Hmm. What about Halak? He has 85 poise as well. I'll go with Holpe. He's got the, the high elite potential there, even though it doesn't really matter at this point. All right. Team's coming along well. We got our goalie situation sorted. Don't have to worry about that anymore. But we definitely need to try and finish up our offense and defense solidly. And it's looking like it's probably going to be possible to get 85s all around the board. As always, Ryan Getzlav, welcome to the team. How you doing? I, we took, like, I think we actually need another centerman too. Because we took a player, Drew, center slash left wing. But center was the primary position. But we don't plan on playing him in center. So we... Probably need to actually grab even one more center on top of that. Tomas Tata has 85 points. But he's making 4.5. Yeah, this cap is going to be real tight. Oh, boy. Well, I kind of put myself in this position, really. Braden McNabb has only 75 discipline, but he has 85 points. So welcome to the squad. I feel like that's a lad that I don't pick up very often. Nick Paul, I believe, is with the Tampa Bay Lightning now. And who else can we take? I doubt Justin Hall has 85. No. Uh, Yarn Crook does. I saw that. Center slash left wing again. And he's a sniper. So we're going to have a lot of snipers on this team. But you know what, boys? Let's put some pucks in the net. Let's do it. There you go. Okay. So that... Oh, he actually counted as a left winger. Interesting. So I still need one more center. Technically. What do we got here? Uh, he's got 85, 3.5. Um, what about, he's a sniper too, though. He's going to have too many snipers. Oh, this is this is rough at this point. Okay, I'm, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to take Lars Eller. There we go. And then, what do we need? So I need one more forward and one more defenseman. How much cap we got? Okay, that's possible. That's possible. McNabb is left-handed, right? He is. Okay, so let me try to grab... A, I just want to make sure. So yeah, he is a right defenseman. John Carlson is a right defenseman. So I want to try and grab a right defenseman. And, uh, well, they don't have to be a right defenseman per se. But I want them to be right-handed. And they have to have good poise. So let's just go slowly until we see a right-handed player. 80 and 80, unfortunately. Oh, 80 again. It's got to be someone here. 80. No! I don't want to have to settle. I mean, I will take a left-handed player if I have to, but let me actually just look at poise first and foremost. It's not looking like we're getting anybody over 80 right now, especially down here. And that's what I kind of said earlier when it correlates quite heavily to overall. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, these guys are, like, both on good contracts, too. That is very unfortunate. Okay, well, there, are, there definitely are some with 85, so I think we're going to have to sacrifice the whole... Uh, left and right-handed defenseman thing here. Chara's making, like, nothing. So let's just grab him. He does have the 85 poise, 70 discipline. But, you know what? It's a risk we're willing to take. Now we just need one more forward. So let me go to forwards. We have $3.7 million. So Stasny and uh, Smith there both fit. And Stasny has 85. A lot of our centers are able to play other positions as well. So we have that. Tanev, the best headshot picture of all time. Okay, so yeah, I think we are likely... Oh, okay, we could take Barkley Goudreau. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hathaway, uh, Corey Perry. What do you think? Oh, he does! Should I take Corey Perry? He's a grinder. Add some intimidation factor to the team. We also only have two right wingers currently. Well, actual right wingers. Okay, I'm doing it. Corey Perry, welcome to the team. He had 85, so we never went below 85. Everyone on this team has at least 85 poise. Let's see if they're any good. There's our team, if anybody was wondering. And the reason I try to stay in the cap is because I feel like it's kind of cool to see, like, th this could be a team, you know? <laughs> this could actually be a team, a legal team, unlike Tampa Bay, in the NHL. And 
I think that's pretty cool to see. So uh, let me go to settings here. Just make sure injuries are off because I don't remember doing that actually. And good thing I decided to check because they were, in fact, not turned off. Okay, let's simulate up to the regular season. Put our lines together. And hopefully we got some chemistry going on there, but who really knows? Should I try to change the line? Should I just go with best lines? That's the ultimate question. I always want to change them because I can get better chemistry than what the bot does. But then the lines always end up sucking. So here we go. Head coach preferred lines. <laughs> okay. That's not good at all. Yikes. Oh my word. Okay, you know what? We're going for a coaching change right off the bat. See you later, coach. You are Dunyans. Coaching staff, head coach, get out of my face. Yeah, like what is your, your team fit? Let's see. It's got to be low. Yeah, 46. Absolutely not. You are canned, my good sir. And now, allow me to, because you have to do this apparently, promote you to the interim NHL head coach. And now, let's hire a coach. I don't really care about their grade per se. I kind of want to find, oh my word. There's no head coaches, is there? That's incredible. Well, let's try to find someone that has a good team fit at least. 62, that's nice. 65. All right. All right, Braylon. Let's keep going here. 64. 65 is the best so far. Was that a... Sure was. Phillip. boy. Might take him. 66 is a pretty good fit. Yeah, let's do it. What is his, like, actual role, though? Because otherwise, I'm going to compare the two because... 66 and 65 isn't like a massive difference. He's an NHL assistant coach and he's for the forwards. Okay, who is the other guy? Um, Chan, right? Oops. He had 65. Yep, he is an NHL associate coach. What's better, associate or assistant? It looks like associate. Okay, we'll go with him because he's also a B minus. All right, Braylon. You better join. <laughs> you better join my dang team. I'll give you an offer you simply cannot refuse. He's going to be like, ah, your team sucks. No thanks. Here we go. Come on. Let's advance a couple days here. We're going to probably have to start the season without him. But let's see. Oh. Yes, he joined. Fire me vertical. Right before the season began as well. Okay, so let's do preferred lines again. Nice. Love to see it. Defense, that's okay. That is okay. I'll take zeros over what we had before. And Corey Perry, what a absolute beauty fourth line. Other than Yarn Crook. Don't really like him being there, but yeah, he'll do. All right, so here's our team. I will just go through once again to make sure that everybody has at least 85 poise. And it didn't budge that whole time, so that's good. Wrong thing again. Defense. We got 85. Yep. All right. Looks good. And in Nets, we've got Flower, who has 90 poise and 85 from Braden Holpe. So that's the team. I think we're going to do good. I have high hopes for this squad. I'm going to say we get 49 wins. No, 50 wins. We got 50 wins. All right. Barkov gets the most points with 85. You heard it here first. Go ahead and make your predictions either in your head or in the comments. If you want to, uh, you know, I guess kind of flex if you were close. <laughs> but uh, let me sim to the end of the year here. I severely doubt I'm going to make any trade deadline moves because I expect this team to be good. But who knows? Maybe we'll be absolute trash and I will have to make some deadline moves. Cheeky little five-game losing streak there. But we bounce back with a W. That's how we do, you know. Sure, we might lose a couple here and there or like 20 in a row. But it's okay. We're going to fight back and get some dubs. Or some more else. That too. That is also cool. Nice. Keep it up. Nice. Let's go. I love massive losing streaks. They're my favorite thing. Well, this team is in fact designed for the second half of the season. So we better rip up the entire NHL after the trade deadline. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. But I mean, we 11-4. What just happened right there? Makes zero sense. Whatever. Let's keep going here. We get a nice little break. Let's come back with a... Nice juicy W. 5-1 loss. Same thing. Okay, let's keep our current trading block. We're at 29 wins at the moment, which isn't great. Uh, ooh, Bergeron. He does have poise, that's for sure. And he's on the block. 
6.8 milli. 95 poise. We got to get this guy. Come on. How did I not draft him? What a rookie. Let's go to skaters matching the block. That doesn't help. That does not help. Do you want draft picks? Oh, there you go. You can have that. And then who else can I give you in return? Uh, let's go to our forwards. Boom. I mean, it would be kind of nice to get rid of what's his face. <laughs> that that helped a lot, eh? I bet. Uh, hmm. Goche is not even on the team right now. Yeah, he's he's just chilling. So maybe we can get rid of him. That doesn't help our cap situation, though. Uh, what else can we add to uh, spice it up just a little bit, you know? Corey Perry. Okay, Yarn Crook is the guy I kind of wanted to get rid of. What do you mean? How? How's that even possible? Okay, well, now we're going to have to give them a little bit more, but it will go through. I mean, it doesn't really matter what I give them, to be honest. So maybe I'll just give them a third. And this should... Well, they're probably going to be cheering in the streets, I bet. Oh, isn't sufficient at all. I take it back. They absolutely hate everything that I just offered them. Let me offer a third again. And let me give you uh, another third. Ta-da! Probably still going to say absolutely not. No, isn't sufficient at all. Okay, wise guy. Well, you know what? I got nothing to lose here, so screw you. That does go through. <laughs> I want to take Goche off just to be that guy. Can't be that guy. Cannot be that guy. So I'm going to go to forwards here and add him back. Freddy Goche. There you are. All right. He hasn't played any games, right? I got to like double check that. If this trade ends up, you know, getting stolen from me, I'm going to be very pissed. How do I check again? I'm like all over the map right now. Um, no, he has not played. Okay. So, yep. Trade's going to go through. Let's do it. Boom. Uh, cheering in the streets. Oh, never mind. It's just a done deal. Two firsts for that guy. All right, I see you. Darcy Kemper, how's Braden Holpe doing? Any good? Probably not. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, goalies. Holpe has a... Yep, 898. He is doing horrendous. All right. a boy. Flowers only at a 909, which also not great. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, he... What? I'm lost. Well, you know what? Whatever. We had a Bergeron. That's good enough. We made one move. Let's go throw him into the lineup and see if our team improves drastically or not. Uh, Lowry, Brown, and Butcher for a first and... Nope. I'm not even going to try that one. Okay. And we get Devin Taves and a third for a first and Rabic. Okay. Can I? Yes, I can. Let's go back and edit the lines. Bergeron, our top point guy already, right off the hop. And preferred lines. There you go. That doesn't seem like, um, that doesn't seem preferred to me. They scratched Phil Kessel for this guy. I guess he's 23, but no, absolutely not. Get in there, fill the thrill. Okay. So there you go. This team is like, how, man? How, how do we suck? I don't get it. Whatever. Let's uh, just double check again the poise stat. Make sure it doesn't drop below 85. We're good. We didn't do anything to our defense. So, yeah, I don't have to check there. And in net, we still have these two. So, we're good. Okay. So, we added Bergeron. He's going to be playing with Barkov and Perron. I kind of want to throw Phil the Thrill up there. A sniper. We should probably have a sniper on the first line. And then Duclair is a sniper. And he can play with these two. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Who has better faceoffs? It's got to be Getzlav, no? Yeah, he does. So, you can play on the wing. Ta-da! Corey Perry has six... I thought he'd have decent face-offs for some reason, but I guess he doesn't really do that whole thing. Okay, well, here you go. Phil Kessel really fits that line, eh? Wow. I just want to... Ooh. What player type is Giroud? Playmaker? And then we got two-way forward. Barkov is a two-way forward. Hmm. I wonder... Why is that a dash one, though? Oh, wow. That makes it a plus two. Kessel, Giroux, and Barkov. All right. We're doing that, then. Bergeron can be on the second line. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely rock that. Okay, I'm down. That's cool. Nice. All done here. Nothing to see. Nothing to see. Are we going to make the playoffs? Let's find out. We are a poised team, so we are built for this portion of the season. 
Let's see. Well, amazing. I don't know why. It just feels like the simulation engine in this game is so, like, inconsistent, man. I don't understand. And our team's also ridiculous. Like, there's no reason that team should not have made the playoffs. I bet you there's a team in the playoffs right now that has, like, 70 overalls across the board. Bergeron had 81 points. He was the most. And he played 85 games. Barkov only had 71. I don't understand how this game simulates, man. It makes no sense to me, personally. Okay, um, goalies, Flower and Holpe. Uh, actually, I didn't really check their stats. I just briefed over it. Yeah, Holpe sucked. Uh, Flower did good, actually. 9-11-271. He kind of brought it back. Okay, well, let's check out the entire league. Boom. Passed it with the Art Ross. boy. Let's go to forwards, actually, specifically, just in case. So... There are your top forward point getters. JT Miller at a boy. Defense. Roman Yossi, 63. Morrissey with 63. Look at him go. Unbelievable. Uh, Theodore and Makar, 61. There you go. And goalies. We have Price. 45 Ws for the Ducks. A 924 to boot. And we also have a 920 from Swayman and a 921 from Vazzy. That is pretty good. He's probably got to have a high poise. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Well, there you have it. Let's... Wait, who won the President's Trophy? I don't think I checked that. We finished fifth in our division. Entire league. Anaheim. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because Carey Price had all those Ws. And there you go. Arizona gets shafted because of the playoff system. Unfortunate. Well... We could view the lines for the Ducks and see what made them so good. Kyle Connor, Rupe Hints, and Blake Wheeler. Okay, look at this. Like, look at it compared to ours. Look at this. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, that is their offense. This is your President's Trophy winning Anaheim Ducks, everybody. Amazing. And then Carey Price with Riddick. How, how did Riddick do? Did he play a single game even? He did. He had a 906. Stupendous. All right. There you have it. The champion of the league this year. Well, of the season, anywho. Let's sim the playoffs and get this over with. And the Ducks got first rounded by the looks of it. Classic. Classic. The Golden Knights are your Stanley Cup champions. First in franchise history. They almost had one their first year, but the Caps beat them out. All right. So let us. What I want to check again. I definitely wanted to check something. Stats. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. But first, we got to go here and check out the Golden Knights. Where'd they finish? So they finished seventh in the league, and they had an A-minus head coach. Congrats on that. Pacioretty, Lindholm and Toffoli, Hyman, Duchesne, uh, Cahoon. I don't understand, man. Sure. Okay. Well, there's their team. Uh-huh. Game makes a lot of sense. Let's go to awards. Here we go. Golden Knights. Anaheim. We knew that. And Toronto made it to the finals against the Knights. Passed it with the Art Ross and the Hart. Morgan Riley gets the Norris. Lady Bing to Pasta. Raymond with the Calder. Had a boy. Lindholm with the Con Smythe. Carey Price with the Vesna. The Jennings goes to Anderson. Zub with the Bill Masterton. Boyce gets the Jack Adams. Kopitar with the Selkie. Passed it with the Ted Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard. He cleaned up this year for the Montreal Canadiens. Here is the playoff tree. Yeah, amazing. So go ahead, guys. Let me know if you have any other draft ideas. I am genuinely shocked, but not at the same time about this draft result. Because I feel like it should have been good. But again, the simulation engine, there's just something going on under the hood that no one knows. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you soon.